Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel tonight. We're going to take a look at the new game, Lawn Mowing Simulator. Sounds a little bit boring. Probably is not going to be the most exciting game in the world, but for those of you that like farm sim or like lawn mowing, this will be, this will be right up our alley. As you guys know, I play a lot of those kind of games. Uh, this does have official wheel support. I am using my controller right now to switch between modes here. We have a free mode, we have a uh, challenge mode, and we have a career mode. I'm probably going to go for career mode just for fun because um, I want to go through the career. And you can see here we have some name brand equipment. We got Toro, Skag. I know there's several others. You Skag. It's a horrible name for a company, but that's what they called it. Anyway, uh, moving right along. Uh, so I can confirm that it works with a G29. Uh, however, there is, it doesn't look like there's any way to change your button settings. Like here, it just, it tells you what they are, but it doesn't tell you, like, how to, you can't change it. And it doesn't even show me the steering wheel yet. But the support is there. I don't know. So, anyway, let's confirm that and go ahead and get started mowing. We'll start a new career. And we'll do the tutorial first time through. Let's get started. In this mode, you'll create your own lawn mowing company and build its reputation. As you expand your company, you can hire employees, purchase mowers, and unlock new contracts. But first, your company needs setting up with a name and a logo and a uniform. Company name, T. Um, enter name. Uh, what do I want to call this? We'll call it V-Blue Guitar Mowing. Moe. How about v, VBLU Mo? V Blue Mo. For those of you who knew the channel, V Blue Guitar is always my name on stuff. Yeah, I need a little tractor. R4. Enter his name. Player's name is R. Arthur. An appropriate name as this game takes place. Ooh, it's with a slash on the end. Uh, it takes place in England. No. 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 Eh, sorta. Oh, we can pick our. Look at that. <laughs> To go along with the V Blue name, we can have V Blue a blue moniker. Let's see what colors look best. Mm. That's good right there, that middle blue. Confirm. Logo placement. Nah, front and back is what I want. Uniform colors. Yeah, we want to change that to the matching blue. There we go. Confirm. Can I change my pants? <laughs> nope. Uh, let's see. Player avatar. No, we did that already. Yeah, let's see what other logos they have now because I want to see if they have a blue. They're all green. Except for that. So we'll go with that. Confirm. 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 Okay. Back. Wait. No. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, I need to click on the confirm button over here to the right, just so in case you're starting yours. And we will accept that. And test drive. Now you have a company of your own. You'll need to first vehicle to get cutting. Select a vehicle from the list below and take it for a drive. Collector type deck. This vehicle is equipped with a collector type deck. That means when as you cut it, the grass will be sucked into the vehicle hopper. No piles of grass clipping will be left unless you overload the engine or your hopper is full. Okay. Now, mulcher type deck. This vehicle is equipped with a mulcher type deck. That means that as you cut it, the grass clippings are so small, no visible blades are left. 
No piles of grass clippings are left unless you overload the engine, which means the deck doesn't have the power to cut the grass blades. So we basically have these two tractors. It looks like there's... I've never heard of Stiga. 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 Knight. Okay, I've heard of them before. We got here. We got a Patterson. Let's just kind of take a look through here and see what we got. Another Stiga. Skag. Whoa, that's the Knight. I don't know why it's going there, but I haven't picked that yet. But Toro. Ooh, look at the size of that mower. These are some serious. Grounds Master. That's a big one. Look at that. That's like what you would use at a golf course. Uh, we got $3,000 to work with, which is why this is out of. How much does this one cost? It doesn't say how much the tornado is. So, all right. So, let's go ahead and grab. I almost feel like the mulcher is probably the way to go just because. First of all, this is, looks like a zero turn, maybe. Fuel tank capacity, top speed, 4.35. This is a little faster. Fuel tank, 5 liters, rear-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, collector, mulcher. Man, it's a hard one. I think I'm going to go with the, the mulcher. Let's go ahead and test drive the, this guy. All right, here you can familiarize yourself with particular vehicles in conditions similar to real contract. To a real contract. Approach the vehicle to get in on it. <laughs> to get on it. Get on it. All right, so we can look around. Ooh. We've got... It, did we tow that here with this Porsche Cayenne? Probably not. Tell you what, the graphics are pretty nice on this game. This looks good. Farming simulator could take a lesson from this. It's F. All right. Once you are on the vehicle, you'll need to s get it started and onto the grass. Each vehicle is slightly different to get going. Follow the steps to get it going to get it started at the bottom of the screen. Now, I wish... Let's see. Okay. With the vehicle start, take a moment to get used to it to drive on the grass. Take okay. So start engine. Hold Z to start vehicle's engine. Now, hang on one second. I was hoping that this would support... Hang on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so I'm trying to figure out the controls here because they're not... They don't mark them. Hopefully, they'll include that in the game. Also, I have to turn the... So this, you can... There's a button to turn the RPM down to 100, and then you don't move at all. Uh, you can adjust the cut height. I'm trying to find the buttons to do that. Okay, there's the, that engages the mower. That's your camera button. Ooh, I like the on-the-camera angle. Unfortunately, you can't look around with your... Um, I was hoping that this game would support track IR, but it does not. I'm looking for the button to change the... Nope, that's that. We want to resume. What's this? Start... Nope, that doesn't do anything. These don't do anything. These don't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Camera. Oh. How did I... Increase the throttle. Yeah, we know that. Now, how did I engage the blade again? So, I guess there's no button yet for cut height. Um, so, we have to do E or C. C makes it 6. Engage the blade, Z. It's not, it's weird. It, it did it before, but now it's not doing it. No, nope, that's, that's. Sorry, it's taking me a minute to figure these controls out. There we go. No, that's weird. It, it would engage it and then it wouldn't.
Only ever turn on your blades when on grass, otherwise you'll damage them. Oh! Oh! Alright. While cutting, you can track your progress with the bar at the top right. I don't really love the view. I wish there was a little bit, I don't know, something about it's not quite right. Yeah, this turns a little better, I think, than, oh, hold on a second. I like this mower. I think this probably is going to be our best bet. Oh, jeez. Whoops. I hit the wall. It's got full force feedback. I'm not sure, like the steering wheel's really tight. So the handling is a little yanky. It's a little janky. I'm having to mow on the slow. This is good practice though. Change our camera angle here and see how we're doing. Oh yeah. We've missed some along the edges, but we'll leave that to the weed whacker guy. Now you got to watch your RPMs with the engine. That's one of the nice things about having the gas pedal, like instead of using the joystick, because I think... It real track IR would make this game. I hope they add support for that. Because this would be a lot better if we had track IR. Now, once we get out in the middle of the yard, I'll go a little faster, but I don't want to like whack into these things and break my mower. So once again, don't run the blades on pavement. I never I never knew that. Pro view. By holding control while stationary you can pro view, which highlights the areas of grass that have not been cut to the required height. This is useful when you're trying to find the last bits of grass to cut and complete a contract. Okay, so hold control. Oh, that's cool, pro view. And yeah, there we go, there's the spot that we mowed. I'm going around the outside, that's usually how I do it. back to this one. So there's three camera views, really. And this place takes place in England. What did it say on the sign? Ham, cheddar, sandwich, and Tochester. Between the, between the towns of Ham and Winchester. Cheddar. Whoa! How did that happen? We overloaded the engine. That was weird. Something caused the engine to overload. I 
We've already burned almost a quarter tank of gas. So I'm thinking I don't really love this mower. But I suppose we should get used to this style of mower because this is what the pros use. They they use these little ZTRs. <sighs> so life has been crazy lately. I apologize for the lack of videos on my channel as of as of late i'm doing been doing like two or three a week uh we are just super busy with life my wife got her uh horses in and so she has to go to work every day so i have to drive her to work because she doesn't drive yet we've got all kinds of construction going on in my house uh, we're putting a pool in um i'm having rooms put down the basement for some of my kids because i've got just i've got six kids in the house and i want to each have their own room uh, except for Seth and John they'll share but uh, we'll have six bedrooms in the seriously we'll have six bedrooms in the home and uh, so I figured getting it all done at once while we have the money and uh, but it's been like me having to like and then we got my wife she wanted to get puppies. We talked about this before, but she's got. She bought two Dalmatian puppies, and then we brought. She brought her dogs over from England. So we have had. We have like all these dogs all over the place, like all the time, and they're uh, they're a handful. It is not. Um, the puppies are peeing and pooping everywhere, and because they're peeing and pooping everywhere, then my, like even the dog, my dog, who never pees and poops in the house. Or, uh, has been peeing and pooping all over the house. And I'm just like stressed to the gills with all that stuff. So once we get the puppies trained, but it's hard because we can't get them outside much because then there's people out back working. So they're not quite getting where to go pee and poo yet, but I've, I'm, I'm putting in systems to keep them from hopefully getting out. I've got gates built uh, in the house. Sometimes the puppy will jump, one of the puppies will jump over them though. So like, the other one doesn't jump, but the one does, jumps over the gate. It's like a four and a half foot gate. She gets up over it. I'm just like, how did you do that? So what I'm doing right now is I'm normalizing the lawn so that I don't have to make so many severe cuts. So this mower is not very fast. I might go with the tractor style for, for our first mower uh, when we go to the side if we want which one we want. Um, so let's try the other mower. I don't care about the progress. I just want to... Oh, you know what, though? I think we have to finish our progress to see like the end of the tutorial. So we'll go ahead and keep going on this one. Um, so far, I, I do like this game. It's relaxing. Um, be a good one to kind of turn the volume down and put on your favorite TV show. I will say the engine sounds are pretty loud. Like, I've got to crank down on OBS, but oh wow, I left some. Look at that. Get some of those edges. Strands of stray grass. shut it down when it does that but it's it's funny it just goes into it goes from like okay into overload in a second and that's a little bit um, whoa, whoa. spinning all over the place I guess the grass is thicker in places than it is in others that's kind of neat
and this is realistic. I mean, like when I run my, oh, there we go. When I run my lawnmower at home, I do slow down when the grass gets deep. Because you can hear it working the motor, and I don't want to overload the motor, so. Okay, re return the vehicle, uh, vehicle, return the vehicle to the trailer to end the contract. job my man let's put it back on the way we got it just to be fancy nope. I mean the ZTR is pretty cool that's it's weird to press the brake to go backwards that's screwing me up royally wow it's hard to back a zero turn mower I missed <laughs> the frick? I let go of the wheel to straighten out, and it doesn't straighten out. That's a little bizarre. All right. Come on. Oh, screw it. It doesn't... When you let go of the steering wheel, it keeps it steering where you left the blast. Instead of going back to center. But that's a little annoying. Okay, whatever. Now well, we're on the thing. Disappointment abounds. You know what? <laughs> Let's go ahead and buy it. I just want to buy it. Let's see. This cannot be undone. Wow. Let's do it. Okay. This, select a contract. This is the contract map where you can see available contracts to select and start. Now that your company is set up and you have a mower, select the contract button at the bottom of the map to open it for setup. Okay. Front garden. Is that that's the only one available? <laughs> okay. Old Nook Cottage. Complexity is easy. Okay. Once you select a contract, you see information about its value requirements. If you wish to accept the contract, employee vehicle. Got a 99% general cut, 5 to 6 centimeter, ground check time limit, 4 minutes. Recommended cut time, 26 minutes. Cut deck, 100 centimeters. Current grass range, it's about 20, 13 to 20. Complexity is low. Assign an employee. Well, that would be myself. Assign a vehicle. That would be my only mower. So we've got the estate mower. All right. Now let's go ahead and do this. So is it Stiga or Stiga? Or, St or Stiga? Ooh, pretty. S charming little English cottage. With the thatch roof. That's got to be expensive to maintain. Let's go ahead and confirm. At the start of each contract, you'll have a small period of time to find any, to find and remove any objects on the grass that could damage your vehicle. Can, so you can... Choose to skip the go check and have the objects automatically removed by interacting with your mower, but this will mean you don't earn money or RP. Erp. Ooh. See, chicken coop and a tractor. Or, uh, I think we're supposed to mow the front lawn here. We can sprint. Okay, so we need, the, we have three minutes. All right, hurry up. Pick up that object. One of four objects collected. <laughs> uh, 
her. If you know how many objects are there, there's a frisbee. Okay. Why don't they just pick them up in the first place? Um, there's that. What was that? Oh. And a newspaper. One minute. Ooh, this guy is rich. He's got an Austin Martin and a Porsche. Maybe that's my Porsche because I got I had that at the dealership too. Be nice one that. Though of all the Porsches to get, I would not get a uh, Cayenne. It would be or Cheyenne or whatever they call it. Start her up. Let's see, we want to change the cut height. Look at this. Six centimeters. Five centimeters is so low. Oh, I like this little mower. Well, it's not very thick. Performance during cutting will affect how much money and reputation you get. You need to find the balance between speed and careful driving to avoid damaging flowers or log. While cutting quickly to still earn a time bonus. Okay, well, here goes nothing. I gotta do this in real life today. <laughs> that little tractor. Oh, this tractor is a lot faster. Wow. Boy, this this don't make you nervous cutting along some of this garden. This game really could use track IR. That would make a huge difference. It's probably pretty hard to implement, though. I know Train Sim World hasn't done it yet, and it makes, it makes me mad. Because Train Sim, like uh, the original one, like Train Simulator 2021, does do it. So it's like, wait a minute, how, how come the new version of the game should have the same features as the old version, but the new one doesn't support it, so... here. A little faster this time because we're out in the middle of the yard. I gotta say, I kind of like this game. <laughs> So a couple people on my channel were like, are you going to do a review of this game? And I'm like, no. <laughs> it sounds really, really boring. But actually, I kind of like it. It's relaxing. If they could only incorporate this into, like, uh, like the home building game, what do you call it? Uh, they, I mean, they have some mowing in that game. Not house builders. I forget what the name of the game is, but that's the name of the game. And 
I'm going to cut straight across, cut this little section off here. Sometimes we got 26 minutes to mow this. I'm at five minutes already. All right. This is the downfall of not having a zero turn mower. It's kind of realistic. My tractor, I have a, lawn, a little, one of those Scots by John Deere 1642 lawnmowers. It's like a six, 16 horsepower, 42 inch deck. And um, it does the same thing. When you turn, it, it misses stuff. And you have to, like, if you make a sharp turn, you have to go back and cut over where you cut. So it's not unrealistic to have to go back. But it seems like I'm, I'm missing this right here. And I've been over it. So we'll see how we did. a little narrower like the deck is really narrow wish we could upgrade the deck on this to make it a little wider I'd rather go a little slower and have a wider deck I think actually you can do upgrades so we'll see after we get out of this contract what we can do and then maybe I'll even make a second episode of this I can't imagine doing the whole series but then again you get to grow your company so that's kind of cool so we'll see i got a lot of games i'm working on right now obviously that you guys are already watching so it's kind of like do i need to add a whole new series here or this right here and I missed all this what the heck so lots of games who's texting me I wish you had a tempo stat on this so you didn't have to keep holding the gas but like in real life on a tractor, at least with the most hydrostatic, non-geared tractors, you set the throttle, and then you have a, a gear shift, not a gear shift, but a, the, the forward reverse speed is on the right side of the tractor, like there's a handle. There's not really a gas pedal. And you push the handle forward how fast you want the mower to go. The further you push it forward, the faster it goes. But once you set the speed that you want it to go, you just let it go and it continues as best it can at that speed. 
So if I wanted to go three miles an hour, I set that throttle, the, I guess it would be a forward or, um, or a reverser <laughs> to uh, the speed that it wants, that you want the tractor to go. If you have a geared mower, you put it in gear and then you let off, you have like a clutch brake, you hold the clutch brake down you put the tractor in gear, like one, two, three, or four, and then you let the clutch brake off, and it engages whatever gear you put in. And obviously the higher the gear, the faster the tractor is going to travel, but it stays at that speed. Once again, with a hydrostatic transmission where you don't have a gearing system, basically the further forward you push the stick, the faster the tractor goes. And But where you set it, it'll try to maintain that speed. So if you set it at like two miles an hour, it just always goes two until you push it forward or pull it back. So, this is a little unrealistic because I'm having to hold the gas pedal down. It doesn't have a, like a joystick control, which would be cool if we could set this off to another joystick and use that as a throttle control. But then again, joysticks in general don't stay in place. So. Ten minutes. <laughs> so it seems like you got to run the mower about two thirds off the grass, on the grass, and one third off the, or one third off the grass. So like that, where that notch is on the front of the mower, it's got that plant. Um, that's where you kind of want to keep the line. Up front there where it says Stiga, there's that notch. And that's how I'm, I'm mowing and keeping it on that line. The mouse controls are inverted for the camera. That's kind of lame. Ugh, I, can't, I can't get it to lower. Come on. There we go. Okay, we're wasting time. Forget it. Just go back to the radar camera. Dang it. Hear what I do in real life. Cut this off. Cut back. Wow. Thank you, Burr. Oh, bush. My face. My face is in the bush. Okay, missed that part right there. And we're coming around the mountain. Let's get a turn here. Whoops, whoops. Got all excited there. We're 12 minutes, 50 seconds. We're doing okay. We're 71% done. So at that rate, we're going to get this done on time. Actually, probably ahead of schedule a little bit. Whoa. We'll finish this little section off here.
Now, some people might say that having the gas pedal and the brake be reverse aren't realistic, but I guess the way that those, the throttle, at least on my tractor, like pushing forward makes the tractor go forward, putting it in neutral makes the tractor stop, and then you pull it to go backwards. You kind of have to notch the stick over, but it's all on one control. So this is actually kind of like driving my lawn tractor, except I'm using my feet instead of my hands. I think the fastest way to do this, I think it's probably just going to be that just going around this. And hold on one second, folks, I'll be right back. So someone was at my door, and a little nasty secret. <laughs> Once you start mowing, you can't stop. Like, uh, there's no, there's no break. So I just lost two minutes off of what my mowing speed was because I had to answer the door. Oh, well, real life happens. So far, it doesn't look like we've killed any of the flowers, so that's good. Seventeen minutes. We still got about nine minutes left. Oh no, man! It's. Because I lost that minute and a half, and, like seeing who was at the door. Oh man, my bag is almost full too. Uh, what you doing? Your bag's full. Now that's the one nice thing about the mulching mowers. You don't have to deal with that. So I like playing this. This game seems to be best in the cockpit mode. And I think we'll still make it in time. We've got a lot of the lawn mode now. I think I just missed some shoes and socks. Dang it. So we're going to have to go back and cut that. Just because. I won't. Six minutes. I think we got this. Oh, come on. Ground damage? What? 
Oh, well, they should have told us that before. Time balls will cover up that. Where did the ground damage occur? Fine. So we're getting really close, 98% done. all this extra grass. 99% is our cutoff, so we just need 0.1%. before leaving to avoid any fees. I haven't left them. But. All right, contract complete. 22 minutes, 37 seconds. 22 minutes, 40 seconds. So if we can get in 23 minutes, we'll be three minutes faster. Then the recommended time limit. And hopefully we'll have earned our key. Ta-da! Boom. Let's see how we did. Not great. We really rushed. I don't. I don't like that rushing. But <laughs> confirm. Look at our nice job. So let's see how we did. Um, I got. Let's see. Vehicle. Ground check time bonus. We got five pounds. Ground check earnings, 20. Cutting time bonus, five pounds. Valuables recovered, zero. 26 cent fine and 25 cent collision with what? Ground damage, one. Penalties and fines. Oh, total. It's a total of 26, pound, uh, 26 P pence. Uh, we got 25 plus one pence. So 26 pence. We got one one ground damage and what is that for collisions with what I didn't collide with anything but we made 340 bucks that's not too bad so let's go ahead and accept and I'm sorry I got my fan on it's hot today so even with the air conditioning on it's hot in here let's see the vehicles in the garage here you can fix damaged vehicles view statistics purchase attachments part exchange purchase new ones first let's see current vehicles we can maintain it. okay so here's our current vehicle. Okay. Maintenance. Vehicle maintenance. It is important to keep your vehicle well maintained and fixed. Ideally, after each contract, you should visit the garage, refilling the fuel tank, fixing any damage. Okay, so we're going to empty the grass collector. 
Fill it up. Two pounds. Oh, just you just do full refuel there. Blades. Seventy four cents. I think full repair put the same thing. Uh, engine needs full repair, thirty pounds. I mean thirty, thirty p. And we're gonna repair the vehicle. Uh, zero, one p. Okay, she's she's back up in full condition. Okay. Um, confirm. Okay, and then escape, right? Or no, nope. and back to the garage. Okay, maintenance. So we can't, I don't see any upgrades. They said you could upgrade, but I don't see any upgrades. I wish you could upgrade the decks. Options? Nope. Oh. Uh, X axis? Yes. Maybe. It's weird when you're on in camera view it's fine but it's opposite when it's back and I'm just going to leave it for now. Um shop. What do we got? Two bait. We have how many? Oops. Uh it's a, it said how many shop. Zero bays available. So we can't buy anything. That's a darn shame. But it's okay. We have other contracts to complete, so we're going to go you go back to the map it looks like these are the two places you can go right now. And we can take on another job but we'll do that in another video because we've reached almost an hour on this video so ladies and gentlemen hopefully you enjoyed me mowing the lawn and chatting and talking and having fun and getting the thing done and doing an okay job pretty good job have a great night be sure to subscribe thumbs up always help and we'll see you next time on mowing simulator i'll do a couple more episodes like i said we'll grow the business a little bit i'll check in here and there i don't think this is going to become a series to be honest with you it's you know it is what it is. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. See you next time. Bye.